Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a follow-up to the questions that I received when I revealed my Hermes Kelly 28 in my birthday unboxing video. So I did receive five common questions and I thought I'd answer them all here today. First question I received was, what is the difference between the Togo leather? Both my Birkin and my Kelly are in the Togo leather and I mentioned that it is my all-time favorite leather from Hermes. So what is the difference between the Togo leather and the Clemence leather? So I'm gonna show you in a minute. Uh, also questions around how much I paid for the Kelly retail. Um, I will share the number. And I also received questions around the weight of the Kelly. So um, weighing the Kelly 28 with my scale, I have my scale here actually, I'll do that. And uh, specifically comparing it to the Birkin. Uh, again, this is the 28 size Kelly and this is the 30 size Birkin. And because they're both in the Togo leather, I feel like it's pretty comparable when we're talking about weight. So I'll go into detail on that. And then also there was a question on the color. So this is the brand newly released color Gris Meyer, which is an elephant gray, that's how I'm referring to it. And I was asked, what is the difference between the Gris Meyer and the Etain color, which is a very popular old school classic Hermes color. So I'll talk about that a little bit as well. And then finally, you can see that I have my calculator sitting right there. And that is because I have brought up my entire spend history with Hermes. And I started tallying up the numbers because a number of you seem to be interested in understanding how much I spent with Hermes before I was offered these quota bags. So let's get into it. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what this is, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of the giveaway item that I referred to in my recent video. Yes, I picked this up for you guys. So one lucky winner will receive this Hermes goodie. I'm going to unbox it in an upcoming video, so stay tuned. But I just want to make sure that you guys knew this was coming. And it's just really a way of me saying thank you for all of your support and kindness. You guys know I like to do giveaways from time to time. It's also my way of... Uh, messing with the scammers if you guys don't know there have been scammers impersonating me and many many other youtubers on their channels and so you'll see lots of comments on recent videos from some cryptic person or robot saying that you've won something and that you should text them or reply to them to claim your prize that is not how i announce giveaway winners you guys know that if you're regulars here so please ignore those i have been reporting them and blocking them and deleting them as fast as i can but i think it takes a little bit of time for youtube to respond so this is a legit giveaway and i'm going to do a legit announcement um, but it's not going to be the way the scammers do it so stay tuned and uh, you'll find out in an upcoming video soon so first of all let me undress my Kelly 28 what I mean is I'm gonna take off her twilly because I think sometimes you just want to see the bag for all it is and not accessorized and me personally I've mentioned in the past I tend to prefer my bags without any accessories. It's just that lately I've been getting a little bit more playful and I decided to add some twillies, but I do love the look of both the Kelly and the Birkin without anything. So I don't have any charms. These are the only two twillies that I have and they're very, very new. This twilly I purchased with the Kelly. And here we go. So this is, again, my new Kelly 28 in the Togo leather, same leather as my Birkin, and it's in the Gris Meyer color, gold hardware, and it's in the Retourne, if you can't tell. It's got more of the soft lines with the turned inside out stitching versus the more structured, rigid Cellier version. So yeah, if you wanna know more about how I scored this and, um, just my reaction to it go ahead and watch that unboxing video if you missed it i will link it up above but this is my favorite leather togo and it is because i feel like it's the goldilocks leather meaning it is the perfect balance so it's soft but it's also durable. It's very scratch resistant. That's what it's known for. It's also got beautiful grains, but it's not too grainy. I'll show you in a minute compared to the Clemence leather. It's got kind of like small grains. It's also not the heaviest leather, also not the lightest, but it's kind of in between. So it maintains its shape well over time, but it's not, um, 
it's not going to be you know super heavy so that's why i love this so much it also has a very unique kind of like powdery dusty feel to it that is hard to explain unless you feel it yourself i've never felt a leather like this before but uh, towards the end of the video i'm going to actually share with you a new york brand that i've discovered recently they sent me two bags and one of them is made from imported togo leather um, and i think it's so interesting because you could actually get something from the brand for a fraction of the price of Hermes prices of course and just see if you like togo leather so stay tuned for the end of the video to make sure that you catch that piece as well so let me give you a close-up of my Birkin same thing togo leather now togo leather can also vein but usually Hermes is strategic about where they put the veining on my Birkin it's towards the back so I don't mind that at all I don't like excessive uh, veining on the front so I like that it's quite minimal now let me show you my mini Eveline. This was the first ever bag that I wanted from Hermes and the first bag I ever got from them. And it's also in the same gold color. You guys can tell it's one of my favorite colors. And this is Clemence leather. So Clemence compared to uh, compared to Togo is heavier first of all it's also slouchier it's softer so it's perfect for a bag like this carefree you know Eveline style and it's got larger grains so I'll do gold and gold comparison because it's easier you see that the Eveline has larger more pronounced grains also the um, the Clemence leather is going to be a little bit shinier it doesn't have that matte kind of powdery look that the Togo has it feels a little bit more different it's got kind of a sheen it will develop a sheen over time whereas the Togo will stay matte so hopefully you can see the difference now don't look at the colors because for example, this one, I know there are a lot of questions on the Gris Meyer. Um, if you see this color on Swift leather, for example, it's going to look a little bit different because each type of leather absorbs color differently. Um, but because I've got these two, I just want to show you the grains next to each other. Now, I don't own an Etain of anything, like any SLGs or bags in the color Etain. But from my research... I believe Etain is slightly darker than this Gris Meyer. Um, but I think on first glance, from a distance, many people will think this is Etain if they don't know the new color. But yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, if anyone owns both the new Gris Meyer and the classic Etain, please show me a side-by-side. -side. If you have a photo of it, I will share it in my upcoming video. Um, but I unfortunately don't have anything to compare. Okay, and then, oh, price of the Kelly. I'm sort of jumping around. Please excuse me. Uh, the price of the Kelly was 10,600 US dollars plus tax. So that is the current retail price for the Retourne style, 28 size. It will vary a little bit um, if it's Cellier. And of course, it will vary if it is a different size. Okay, and then um, the weight. So let me quickly get my scale. So this is empty at the moment. Let me just make sure. Yeah, so it's completely empty at the moment. And I also removed the strap so that we're really comparing apples to apples because obviously the Birkin doesn't have a strap. So if you recall, I did so many videos on my Birkin and did a whole in-depth Q&A answering all of your many questions when I scored this one for my birthday last year. And I did weigh this and this one empty comes in just below two pounds, which thankfully for me meets my cutoff because you guys know I don't like to do bags that are heavier than two pounds too heavy for me this comes in i remember at like one pound maybe 15 ounces or 15.5 ounces or something like that like just below two pounds now the kelly remember is two centimeters smaller because this is a 28 compared to the 30 and it's also got only one handle and just a slightly different silhouette so here on my scale, it shows one pound, 11 ounces. So it is about four to five ounces uh, lighter than the Birkin 30. And again, both of these are in Togo leather. So hopefully that's helpful. I feel like this bag is just a really great universal size. It doesn't feel heavy to me at all. And you guys know I'm a stickler for um, bags being you know, practical and light to carry. Okay, 
Then the big question is spend history. I have to get my calculator, and I think that I'm kind of an anomaly because there's so many stories out there that circulate talking about how you have to spend minimum one to one ratio or、uh, two to one, meaning double the amount of money it costs to buy one of these quota bags before you can even think about being offered. And I've always said I felt very lucky because I don't know how or why I'm being offered these bags.、Um, one of the questions that was not asked. Uh, recently, but was asked when I got my broken was, do your sales associates know that you are an influencer or a YouTuber? I still bristle at the word influencer because I just feel like I'm. I'm just a regular. I'm a mom sitting in my apartment filming for you guys.、Um, but none of my sales associates know that I do YouTube. I don't mention it. There would be no real way for them to find out because I don't even show my face on this channel. Plus, my channel's fairly small compared to like the really big, big、uh, influencers and YouTubers out there. And only a handful of my friends know that I do YouTube. You guys know I've been quite timid about that and just kept it private for a while. So. The fact that I'm getting these bags is really pure luck, and luck, and、um, I think largely based on the fact that I have a good relationship with my SA. It is definitely not because I have a YouTube channel because that doesn't even factor in. They have no clue. Okay.、Um, So here, I think you're gonna be surprised, but here I like literally wrote it all down, and I'm like calculating it for you guys. So my journey, I know everybody talks about their Hermes journey, started back in I think 2017 or so, where I bought a couple of bracelets from the flagship store in Paris, and I don't believe that. My history in Paris connects with my U.S. history, so that was it. Two bracelets, and then I didn't buy anything else for like two or three years. Then officially in the U.S. here in New York, I started in 2020, and here I wrote it all down. I'll calculate it for you. So in 2020, I. Bought a couple of SLGs, one including a gift.、Um, oh, one was a giveaway for you guys, the Bastia, and one was for me. And then I got my first bag, which was, like I said, the Mini Eveline. This was eighteen hundred dollars. And then I got another、um, little like leather fashion jewelry bracelet. And then I got my first cashmere scarf. So let me just add that up one more time. So I'm like literally. I want it to be as accurate as possible because I know some of you really want to know this information, and I think it might be helpful. So, 2020, this is the total that I spent before taxes, which is three thousand five hundred eighty-five, and then at the start of 2021, I got. Another little bracelet, the Mini Kelly bracelet, but that wasn't in New York. I actually shopped in another city, so. It's in my history, but I don't know if it really counts for anything because it was with a different SA. But I'll include it. And then I got a, a my Kelly belt, and then I got a couple of shawls, and so that was three thousand five hundred and fifteen dollars that I spent. And so if I add twenty twenty spending and twenty twenty one spending, I come to seventy one hundred. Okay. The reason why I cut it off here is because over those two years I spent about seven thousand dollars, and then I was offered my Birkin for my birthday. So the Birkin cost eleven thousand at the time. So you can see it's definitely under one to one ratio. And then let's keep adding. I'm not going to I'm not going to add the cost of the the quota bag,、um, but I'll just add the other stuff. So then I got some beauty items, and then I got、um, a couple of other leather items. So. This was the total by the end of 2021. So,、uh, 2020 and 2021 added together. That's two years, 7,655. And by then, I had already received my Birkin. Then, let's move on to 2022, which is this year. And I'm also including. Online orders. I did order a few things online from the Hermes website. I don't know if that counts. Many people have said it doesn't, but、um, if I see something I like on the website, I usually just grab it unless I think my sales associate can find it for me easily.、Um, so the biggest item that I purchased besides the bags this year was this ring here, which was kind of like a self-love ring. Last month that I got for myself. That's、uh, that was twenty seven fifty. So this is what I spent in total, without the bags, so far this year in twenty twenty two. That's about forty nine hundred. So add that up with 
the past two years. So this is what I spent in three years time from 2020, 2021 and 2022 to date. So this would be like a one to one ratio roughly for the Birkin, um, but I did receive both of these. So I guess the ratio, if I do the math is, it was basically like a little more than half to one. So 58% um, is my spend ratio, meaning I spent 58% roughly of the cost of these two, which is very different from a lot of other people's experiences where they say they spent like 200% or 300%. Now, I feel I feel for anyone out there who spent that much and has been hoping to get a quota bag and they haven't. I just hope that everything that, you know, has been purchased was because you love that item all of those items for what they were because i said from the beginning i was not going to purchase anything that i didn't love just for what it was regardless if i could get a bag or not because the whole idea of like spending in order to get something else later to me just leaves a bad taste so it all worked out for me i know that it doesn't work out for everybody as easily so um like i said i, I feel for anyone out there who is frustrated um i don't know how this whole formula works i think it's a lot of luck and a lot based on your relationship with your sales associate hopefully that is helpful and as i promised because many of you are interested in the togo leather i am going to show you the two bags that i received from a new york based brand parisa wang you may have heard of them they've been featured in glamour magazine cosmopolitan women's wear daily they're all over the place they were founded in 2016 so let me go grab those two so here are the two boxes that the bags came in. PW for Parisa Wang. You guys know as a New Yorker, I always love to introduce you to New York based brands. And I wanted to share with you this first one here it comes in a nice dust bag. And this is the one I was referring to earlier that has the imported Togo leather. So the leather is um, imported from Italy. And voila, this here, this is called the Unlocked Backpack, but it's not just a backpack actually, it's kind of cool. So let me give you a close up. It can also be carried as a crossbody bag or shoulder bag because it has this long strap with a padded piece here. But if you pull it through, then it absolutely becomes a backpack. So we know how much I love versatility, right? So there we go. And I will say it feels like that powdery kind of matte feeling that the Hermes Togo leather has. So if you wanted to experiment without breaking the bank, this one here um, costs $385. But the cool thing about Parisa Wang is that they are direct to consumer. And so they cut out the middleman. And so retail price on this would probably be like triple that. Oh, there we go. So you save money and they were generous enough to not only send me these bags, but they gave me a promo code. So if you do want to shop with them, I'll link these two bags. I have to unbox that one. These two bags down below in my description box, along with the promo code, which is Hannah 12. Um, you will receive 12% off your order and it's a friends and family discount. So it never expires. So you can shop anytime. So really appreciate the generosity of Parisa Wang. Love to be able to share this with you guys. The inside is really nice. It's got two open pockets on one side and then a zipped pocket on the other. It's all lined with micro suede fabric. And if you want it to open up further, there's snaps here. And it's really cute. So I'll include some of the specs so you can have all the details if you're interested. And then let me open this other one here, which I think, I mean, I've seen it already because I unboxed it as soon as I received um, both of them. But this one I think is really perfect for a young working professional or a student because you'll see the shape and silhouette is so cool. All right. And the color combo too. So this is called the Allured tote bag and oh I have to show you actually before I do that this dust bag is actually a tote bag you see there's handles isn't that so cute very well thought out so this one here 
has three different colors. You can see all these earth tones. One color on this side is kind of like a taupe. And then, actually, this is like a grayish, and this is like a taupe. You see that? So pretty, cut in half. And then you've got the dark caramel, caramel brown on the strap. And the strap is really cool because it's got this ring, goes through. And then, this is the part I think is really pretty. This here snaps right into one of these. And then this piece like hangs down kind of like a belt. I don't know, I think it's cool. It kind of reminds me of like Celine designs in a way. Um, and this is the inside, let me open it up. Quite roomy, I again will include the specs, measurements and all of that so you could see for yourself if you're interested. Beautiful, beautiful inside. Micro suede lining again. Open pocket with a snap button. So I think this is really pretty. I was really happy when Parisa Wang reached out. I'm happy to feature them. Um, this one here goes for $298, which I think is a steal. Again, imported Italian leather, nice grains. This I don't think is togo leather. They didn't specify it, but this one they did say is togo leather. So if you wanted to try something like that, so yeah, hope you enjoyed learning about Parisa Wang. Um, oh, fun fact, I learned on their website that they manufacture their bags the same place that Chloe and Mulberry manufacture their bags. So if that's of interest to you, I don't know, I just thought it was an interesting uh, thing to learn. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you have any qu questions or comments down below. And like I said, in my description box, I will include the discount code for shopping with Parisa Wang as well as any relevant links. Thank you so much. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.